Roundup family just hanging out with my boy Daniel Barrero. What's Hello. up, my friend? Good, good. We're just going to do give you a quick tour around that family. Very quickly, we're going to just be going through Brooklyn and Brooklyn Heights, or is it just Brooklyn? We actually went through Brooklyn Heights earlier. Already this that. is Fort Green, Brooklyn here. We want to just show you, and Daniel, Daniel's going to show us together some of the properties that he owns right here in Brooklyn. This one here is a three-family house. It's uh, pre-war construction. It's a uh, stick built, which means frame. But back then they used to put in between the frames all brick. This here is a house that has a horse walk immediately to your right. Horse walk means when this house was built, they used to keep the horses in the back. Oh, that little where the, where the, where the door is? That's the right. The black door? That's called a horse walk. Let's see if I and can zoom in. And they would bring in. their horses to the backyard. So the what? top apartments are three three bedrooms each. Horse walk. And then the second floor apartment is only two bedrooms, but that's because of the horse walk. Gotcha. Yeah. And in Brooklyn here, the average rent for two bedroom, what is it, two bedrooms? Well, it depends bedrooms? which block. So this block here, because it's closer to the BQE, this is going for a two bedroom, about 3,100. Mm -hmm. If you're a block further up the corner, same square footage, you add about another $400. To it. Wow, good gracious. Nice. Okay, let's do it. Yep. I love it. What's your maintenance on that thing, Daniel? What, I mean, what do you think? Well, I mean, we've owned the building for 20 years, so there's I mean, other than normal maintenance, but we've renovated the building. When we first bought it, and we actually just renovated one of the apartments, two, two of the apartments that just vacated. Um, when I say renovated, it was slight renovations. Yeah. Uh, just the kitchen, because the bathroom was still good. Well, the exterior looked good to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did that whole building about 20 years ago, top okay. to bottom. We bought nice. in all new uh, water mains, uh, all new sewer lines, gas lines, electric lines. We bought everything. Now, on, property. on an earlier video, did we have to do? Did you have to do the scaffolding on that too, like the carpet? Well, up? if we had done. With today's new laws, we would have had to put the scaffolding. Back then, we didn't have to do the scaffolding. But I'm walking through Brooklyn Heights with my boy Daniel, a real estate investor here in Brooklyn. Yes, What's I up? am. I just want to bring you a flip tip and tell you, if you think your renovation is high, before you even get started here, you got to start with scaffolding. Daniel, go ahead, break it down. So any exterior work you do, even if it's painting, uh, unless you're within 40 feet from the sidewalk, because a lot of buildings are set back 40 feet, in this particular area, most of them are not. Uh -huh. You got to put up the scaffolding. I just did a job where the scaffolding for 20, 22 feet cost me about $10,000, literally. And all I was doing was finish, fixing the Cornish on the top of the, of the property itself. That was only literally like a four day job. Now what are the scaffolding for, Daniel? I want to know. Scaffolding is essentially to limit the risk of uh, liability or anyone getting injured because you know a lot what happened was years ago they'd say guys would come in and say I'm just painting but what they would really do was sand bat blasting, mm -hmm. power washing, then you have loose bricks that are falling. So the city came out and said you know what we're not believing anybody any job within this within, within this circumstances have to put up the scaffolding. So of course the scaffolding companies are making a mint right That's now. That's why I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You think you got it bad. <laughs> You can't even get started. I mean, this this just here is easy. Twenty five thousand. I'm like, unless before it, any work is done. If you, yeah, that that has to go up first. Unbelievable. Better not, and the other thing is, they want plywood across the entire property. You can't have any any billboards or any signage on the property. Nothing exposed. You no, can't and see. That it. adds another huge expense too, right? I'm thinking because you, know, you got you got three quarter inch ply exterior wood. Yes. You know, and then the labor to put it up. To put it up. That's right. Take it down. And no doubt the people putting it up, they want to put up a certain way. They don't want it just thrown up. Oh, well, it's got to go according to whatever the code is. Yeah, that's my yeah. point. Yeah. Real, I know we got to get to lunch, Daniel. I got to ask you, the people that are putting up the scaffolding, are they cool with the permits? I'm trying to think. I'm they thinking do everything of, for you. So once you have the permit, then they go and get their permit to gotcha. work underneath your. So permit. it's another permit just for the scaffolding. Precisely. My mind is telling me these people got to be, it's just about money. It's okay. all about money. Well, you know, some of it has to do with the liability too. Yeah, that's true. But this to me looks extremely expensive. I mean, it's metal scaffolding, you've got your eye beams. Like I said, it's crazy. This, this is outstanding. Eye <laughs> beams going across just to get to work. No, no, I mean, you think you got a bad round of family? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm all right, thank with, you, Dan. With the work we did with today's new laws, we would have had to do the scaffolding, yeah. Which would have added what? Uh, well, you know, we're oh, talking 20 grand. years ago, though, probably about five. I mean, it's a day's 
In today's dollars. today's dollars, uh, about ten to twelve. Scaffolding. Wow. Let's keep looking, see what else Daniel has for us to see. I'm excited. I just love looking at real estate in other cities. It's amazing. Yeah, this is uh, well, New York City's an animal by itself, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do it. We're just gonna roll the camera, y'all. We're just gonna this roll. This building here, I'm taking you to back. When we bought this property, this prop, this building was uh, drug infested. The owner used to rent out the top floor and the storefront to sell drugs. My dad had a store in the corner. When he found out that he was gonna reopen after the cops busted him, he demanded that I go over and make a deal with him. We this is your up, store too, right? Yeah, it used to be a deli. Okay. And we actually bought the building from him just so that he wouldn't be next to my father's store selling drugs again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to knock on the door, so you may want to can't stop this one second. Okay. Round up family. I'm literally down in Brooklyn. Look at this. I think this goes up to the Manhattan Bridge. You'll see there. We got to drop off some, I forget what these are called, Schluter strips. Daniel didn't know that I knew that, I'm sure. You, you know what? I'm proud of you because I, I, I have a hard time remembering myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're dropping out some schlut, blah, 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 Schluter strips because these are, these, are the, blah, blah, these are the strips that you use to put the tile. The tile goes, it butts right in there. So it gives you a nice finished edge there. And Daniel uses, I'm going to ask him why he's using vinyl Schluter strips. I like to use the metal ones, so he'll tell us that why. Um, I'm an expert, but I love to hang out with people that have been doing this business longer than me because I can learn from them never know it all so he owns that building there that's one of his buildings right on the end there it used to be he said it used to be a convenience store now it's a bicycle store I'll give you a nice shot of it I love hanging out with people even with me when I'm with my clients we go by the houses that I own so Daniel what's upstairs those are three apartments of those then we have the two garages behind that we rent and then we also have the building right after that corner okay uh, the one after the corner market gotcha. that's how it as well so we got Commercial downstairs, rental units upstairs. Yeah, I cool. love those are mixed properties. I love them. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going, I'm literally just hanging out with him. You ready, Danny? Yeah, come on. All right, let's do it. We're going to drop off some materials right, at one of the sites. This is always dusty because of the job we're doing, but normally it's not like that. Right, we don't care. So this is a unit that we had to evict the tenant from. Recently? Why'd you have to be a victim? How you doing, bro? Good. How you doing? Uh, this is my father here left me. So we had to victim essentially. Right here? Yeah. Down here? His track record in pain. I'm, I don't tolerate people paying when they feel like paying. Uh, just because of the qual quality of my life. So I got rid of him to increase my quality of life. Gotcha. Plus, this apartment hadn't been done in about 20 years. Okay. So as you can see, we're putting in your kitchen. Wow, kitchen's um, gone. We opened up this wall here. Um, this is the kitchen right here? Yeah. All right. Sink. Yeah, we're putting in a new bathroom. Redesigned the entire building. I bathroom, love it. Actually. You're doing a shower base, a cusp. No, that's a pan. You got a shower pan yeah, in there. Yeah, I use the pans. Quicker, quicker. Yeah, not only that, but the shower bases, sometimes they leak after a few years and we'll, you know, we'll yep, they will. this for a long, long term. Tell me about your framing you got going over there. Stand over there, Daniel, help me show me the framing you're going to do. You got to frame something in over here. No, right? actually, this is going to be a glass. This is going to be a glass here instead of wall. Gotcha. Um, so that reduces the space by two and a half inches to allow us to put in a bigger uh, vanity. Gotcha. Okay. It also looks nicer. It's, it makes the room look brighter. It makes the room look much bigger. So you can put a knee wall or glass all the way down? So it'll go all the way down. That's going to be crazy. Then over here is going to be the niche nice. that we put into the sofas and all that. I love it. And then this back here, you know, bedroom, water side bedroom. Oh, man. It's very large. This but this, like for 14, New York City, this is typical. 14 by 14, maybe. Yeah, 15. yeah. But yeah. for New York City, this is actually a decent size. I love it. One bedroom, then there's another half a bedroom I like in it. front. I like it. Um, so what but, you doing on the floor here, Dan? Dan? Say that again? What are you going to do on the floor here? This is all, uh, they're coming on Monday. We're going to throw down a mud floor. Then I know a lot of guys use the cement boards. Yeah. Uh, we don't. We throw down mud floor. What's that? Mud floor is actually a cement base, a real cement base. You're pouring and, it? Yeah, it levels the entire floor. On the wood? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, they, first they put down tar, tar paper. Like gotcha. Paper. Then mm -hmm. you put down your mesh. And then you mesh. Oh, paper. you're meshing. Okay. Then gotcha. you put down your cement. But it levels out the entire floor. It's a stronger base, it 
it'll last a lot longer. There's no cracks. The tiles don't crack. Nice. But you asked me about why am I using the vinyl? Yeah, vinyl. Because that's strips. going into the bathroom. The okay. Bathrooms are very moist. Yeah. Because of the humidity, over the, you know within seven to eight years that metal starts rusting. Hmm. Whereas plastic doesn't. Gotcha. So again, everything we do is uh, for a reason. But not only for the reason. Yeah, for reasons, but it's less maintenance over the long term. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, and that's the other half of that. I don't see central heating and air units up here a lot. Say that again. I don't see central heating and air units frequently. New York City is different animals. You don't have that in New York City. Uh, gotcha. They have wall units or, or window units for for your ACs and then uh, radiators for your heat. Gotcha. Is it floor tile here? I got that same. That's, that's, yeah, you can see, yeah. That's 24 about, yeah, 12 by 24. Okay, yeah. looks good to me. But this is a yeah. one bathroom. This one, is one bathroom, one bedroom. One bedroom. One bedroom. Okay. Yeah. And the rents for this typical? This is gonna be like twenty one hundred. Good God Almighty, twenty one hundred. And I don't even get that. This much is Lefty. Before. Lefty's been with me. Turn around, Lefty. Say hello. How, How long have you been with me, Lefty? Uh, about twenty years or so. There you yeah. go. Good guy. My right there. hand man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take nice care. Nice to meet you. Uh, I don't even get twenty one hundred for a three bedroom house with a two with a one car garage. Oh yeah, just, yeah. New York City's a different animal, man. Total different animal. You can't, you can't, uh, can't compare. Can't, no, apples and oranges. Can't compare. I love it. This is so but, cool. Yo, know, you keep asking me about the garages. Let me see. That's right. Yeah, we get in front oh, of you. Yeah. So you rent out garages. Just tell me a little bit about it before we get to the car. So the garages is actually the best. You want to get into real estate <laughs> business? You get into parking lots of garages. Why is that, Dave? Yeah, we have to the you car. You don't have to go through no eviction. You're not, you're not paying for maintenance. You're not paying, uh, excuse me, I don't know. Okay. You're not paying for anything. You're basically just providing a space and electricity. No heat, no anything. These are getting about 450 a month each. 450 bucks. One, two, both of these yours? Yeah, each one. Nice. Um, we know we have other, other ones as well. Um, sometimes it's, they're, uh, depending on how congested they are, how, how populated the areas yeah. is what determines the price. Gotcha. So someone just comes to you, hey, I need to rent my, I need somewhere to park my car for the month. How do no, you rent them out? I rent them out by the year and they pay monthly. Wow. Okay. Let's keep moving around. Let me just, you may want to show them these properties here. This is all pre-war construction. Brown Huxtables. Stuff. Oh, wow. This is just gorgeous. Just what do the fish get to eat? If they don't Please do not feed the fish. Then what do they eat? I'm they sure eat they get like fed something. I'm yeah. sure they're getting good out here. I bet they eat some of the food. Oh, yeah, this whole thing. Is oh, okay, yeah. That's leather. So you see what I was talking They took down the old Cornish. They're going to uh -huh, replace it with something like that. That there is at least 40 grand. Just to put that little? Well, because you got to go this way, across the front, and then down the corner, the side. I see, I see. And that's all skilled labor work. Uh-huh. And of course, because you're in Brooklyn Heights, right? So the more expensive the property, the more expensive the contract is going to charge. That scalping is going to have to come across, isn't it, Daniel? Or they just block it all the way off? No, Looks they like just we got. Blocked it all the way off because he's within that that those 40 feet. Depends. Each area has different. They have different, different code. uh, codes because it also depends on the size, how wide the ah, sidewalk is. I see. So it could be if you're within 40 feet from the building facade to the curb. You follow? Yeah. So. Oh, that's why they probably don't have to do it on this side. So he saved himself another problem. This is about 15 grand. <laughs> Just because he... <laughs> wow, round up family. If you think you got it bad. Wow, this is unbelievable construction here. Look at the scaffold. I can see this building is... Uh, that, that has to be some type of lead-based paint coming off of there. They're going to have to sand blaze that. but on the interior for sure. What, what type of paint you think that's latex coming off? Yeah, that's definitely latex. Okay, gotcha. On the inside, that age of a building, you always have to assume you're going to have lead paint. And then on the basement, you always have to assume you're going to have asbestos. So whenever you figure in that job, whatever the numbers are going to be, you have to figure those numbers into the job. So this, I mean, it's got to be more than one layer of paint on this thing. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What they're going to do with that is, because they want this to match, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, uh, power wash the living hell out of this. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't get everything out, they sandblast it. Mm -hmm. Then they then they come with grinders. They take out all the old cement to the brick, and then they re point it all up. It okay. All right. Let's go get some lunch. Round up, family. Make sure you. Oh, this way. Oh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like the content. Tell me about your hidden expenses that you have when you're renovating properties. Because in Virginia, we don't have any of this stuff. But we do have other things that are hidden. Okay. I love you. Talk to you soon. Like this. Like this content, please. Bye.